Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am so sorry that I have kept you all waiting on this one, but it is finally Yasmin's turn in the spotlight. Today I'm going to be covering my top 10 favorite Yasmin Bratz dolls. Now we do have an honorable mention because of the fact that I just got a new Yasmin doll and I wanted her on the list but I didn't want to kick anybody off. So we'll talk about her in a little bit. This is an opinion-based video, so please keep your comments positive, polite, and respectful to myself and each other down below. If you don't know what this is, basically you guys vote on a Bratz character. I pick out every single doll that has been made from or for that character. Rather, I pick out my favorites and then I go ahead and put them in a sorter and it forces me to pick between them and we eventually end up with a list going from 10 to one. So that's pretty exciting. I have now done all four main Bratz girls. Chloe, Jade, and Sasha have their own videos as well. I now want to say with the addition of Yasmin, the first like round of these videos is complete and I'm going to be putting it on pause because we will be doing the same exact thing with four main characters from another doll line that I'm sure you all know and I know you all love. So stay tuned for more information about that in the community tab. Eventually, we will come back and do the other Bratz characters such as Megan, Dana, the twins, Fiona, anyone else you guys would like to vote on, but that will be in the near future. So one really quick thing I need to say about Yasmin, and it just, it breaks my heart to say this, but for some reason, a ton of Yasmin dolls seem like an afterthought. Like they seem to put so much effort into a lot, the entire line. And then they're like, oh yeah, Yasmin. And it's awful because I love Yasmin so much. I have an American Girl doll that is designed after and named after the Yasmin Bratz doll. So I just, it's very sad that some of Yasmin's dolls are just absolutely terrible and it's not her fault because she's absolutely incredible. She's actually my favorite character in the live action movie. Um, but yes, so it was kind of difficult to find Yasmin's that I loved, but actually it really wasn't because there, there aren't that very many, there aren't very many. And it makes me really sad because Yasmin's amazing. So we need to spread the love and, um, you know, just admire Yasmin for the incredible doll and character that she is. So without further ado, let me show you my honorable mention. Honorable mention goes to Passion for Fashion Yasmin, who I recently purchased and she was brand new in box, but the box was completely destroyed. So I had to seriously clean this girl up and she looks absolutely gorgeous. And she's an incredible Yasmin doll. I love both of her outfits, but she's in this one for now. But seriously, this whole line is amazing, but this Yasmin is gorgeous. Treasures Yasmin kicks off our top 10. So this is the only Treasures doll I have shared so far because I don't really, this isn't one of my favorite lines. It, I have nothing against this line. It's just, I know a lot of people love it. The Jade and Sasha, especially it's got Roxy and my girl Chloe. I always see the Chloe pop up and I'm like, because she's a Chloe, I should probably get her. But this Yasmin just really stands out to me. I do not like the second outfit shoes. I really just I have something against these shoes. I don't know what it is. I just <laughs> not vibing with them. But Yasmin overall, her first look is completely solid and she's really gorgeous. Heartbreakers is at number nine. So this line was featured in my top 30 Bratz lines videos. It's not something I see a lot of people talk about. It's not really in like my favorite era of Bratz. But anytime you're going to put like pink and black together in a line i am completely one million percent sold and the yasmin is actually my favorite from the line so i was like i have to put her on here it's just it's it's beautiful it's a nice cute line would i ever probably buy this yasmin or anybody from this line most likely not but i think this yasmin doll is really pretty Midnight Dance Yasmin is number eight, and you either love this line or you hate this line, and this is one of the, I called it small but mighty, lines that I would like to see brought back and done as a reboot, possibly, you know, adding more dolls, but this Yasmin is so pretty. She's very uniquely, okay, I'm saying uniquely done. This is a very controversial line for a ton of reasons, but I think like just the way she looks. I really, I talk about this in every video. I either like the super glitzy lines or the super like dark and mysterious looking lines. So Midnight Dance definitely fits that. There's really no in between for me. I don't know. I'm strange, but um, yeah, this Yasmin, she looks really awesome. And this would be a line I would love to complete one day. I don't know if that will ever happen because they're very difficult to get. That's why I would like them brought back. But yeah, this Yasmin looks very, um, she looks very, very, 
mysterious and i love it sweet dreams yasmin has some of the most amazing hair i have ever seen i do not like this picture of her but the one of her in her second outfit was even more grainy than you know a lot of the pictures i have shared with you guys but um sweet dreams yasmin absolutely beautiful this line i feel like yasmin and chloe kind of get um forgotten about or overshadowed because this is a line that features dolls like felicia sierna and kumi who do not get a ton of dolls so it's like you have the main girls and then i don't think there's a sweet dreams jade is there i think i'm losing my mind um but you have chloe and yasmin and then those other three that there's not very many dolls so i feel like yasmin and chloe get forgotten about but this yasmin is absolutely beautiful and her hair is just i would love to get my hands on this doll just to play with her hair just missing the top five at number six is funk and glow wave two yasmin and i'm a big fan of funk and glow wave two it is just absolutely amazing i believe i did chloe and jade a long time ago but i think chloe and jade from this wave were also in their own top 10 videos I love this top on the left. So beautiful. The lips, the eye makeup, her cute little hairstyle. 10 out of 10. This is a Yasmin I would love to own. First edition Yasmin kicks off our top five. So I have to confess really quickly, I cannot tell with my visual impairment if this is original release, 2005 re-release, or the 20th anniversary re-release. It said it was the first edition. So like the original, I'm hoping... I can't really tell much difference in re-releases and stuff like that, especially with these when they're making subtle changes. So hopefully this is the correct picture. But blind collector probs. Anywho, you can't beat original Yasmin. I have the 20th anniversary repro. I bought her. I don't even think, well, no, they were out for a little bit, but I she was the only one at Walmart and I was like, holy crap you're like out and you're here and it was just so nostalgic she was the first breast doll i unboxed in literally over a decade and it was amazing and it was just as crazy because when i was little i could never unbox them like by myself i always had to ask my parents for help and my parents actually happened to be here doing some work on my house um and i was opening yasmin and i was like guys i need help please but now i think i've mastered the art of unboxing brat dolls but anyway you can't you can't beat first edition yasmin she's absolutely perfect hollywood style yasmin is at number four because this was my favorite yasmin doll as a kid i loved her i remember everything about her so distinctly i had two hollywood style dolls as a kid yasmin and then phoebe but i remember playing with her a lot i really do think the way she looks yasmin in this blue color is absolutely gorgeous her dress is one of the prettiest in the line i this is this is a line i really adore as well um, I have the Megan from it, but this Yasmin is so gorgeous. Just everything, just, I can't, you guys, the, the simplicity, but the glam of this look is just incredible. Step out Yasmin comes in third place, and I apologize for this picture. This might actually be the worst picture I had to grab for this video, but it was the only stock picture I could find of her. So Step Out is a line that I actually said I would like to see rebooted because it seems like it is just, it, it carries everything. It's got like everybody in it, and those dolls are just so wonderfully done and i love both of the outfits the second with the top and the skirt and the shoes the way she looks she just looks so perfect here i love her i thought this one was going to be in the top two but i'm not surprised at who one and two are but of course she had to come in at spot three she's amazing and i would love to own her one day Girls Night Out Yasmin comes in second place, and I believe I grabbed a picture of the reproduction, and let me tell you why I did that, because I don't remember, Girls Night Out was out when I was collecting, but I do not remember it, like I have no memory of this Bratz line, I don't know why, because it looked like something I would absolutely adore, so I picked the repro because of the fact that Yasmin is one of my very first dolls on my list to buy in the fall of 2022, this is absolutely 
perfect. Her clothes, I like both of her. I like all three of her outfits from the original, but I do. I will say I like both of her outfits from the re-release. Still wish she would come with the third one because that's the one I prefer the most, but it's okay. It's all good. I could find it somewhere if I really wanted to, hopefully, but the makeup, the hair, absolutely stunning and i really thought she was going to be number one but um there is just one more yasmin that i literally would do anything to own my favorite yasmin doll is 2018 collector's edition so i debated on whether or not this was going to count but i was like i included it in the other ones so why the heck not um you guys this is the best doll out of those four uh, her the outfit she comes in is just one of the most beautiful things, the the boots, people, the boots, the skirt, her face. I love her makeup. Oh my God, just absolutely 100% gorgeous, stunning. It just, it works for her. It looks so good. And I would love to own this Yasmin one day. I know either, this is a line people are like, oh my God, I really love those dolls. Or they're like, no, not a fan. I have never seen any of them in person. So I really don't know, you know, based on like the line or anything. But in my opinion, this is like my personal favorite Yasmin doll. And I love her so freaking much. And if you guys were paying attention, I did use her artwork for this video. So that was kind of a subtle hint, but not quite. I don't know. I thought it was cute. I thought the artwork was really awesome. So those are my top 10, plus my little honorable mention, Yasmin dolls. I would love to own most of the ones on this list. Like I said, there's like one or two that I'm like, if I don't own, it's not going to like break my heart. But let me know down below what your favorite Yasmin doll is because I would absolutely love to know. Also, please remember to keep your comments positive, polite, and respectful down below. Keep checking that community tab as well, friends, for the new little Top 10 Dolls series because that announcement will be coming very, very shortly. If you have not already, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to join the fam, and tap that really cool notification bell so you know the exact moment I post a new video. Have a blessed day, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, everybody.